Yo, what is up, party people? This is Oregon Sean here from Hoggle Stop, and today I'm going to be making a life story for the first time I smoked weed. And it all started out, um, this kid in my grade named Drew, he was like, dude, you want to, like, smoke for your first time? And I was like, hell yeah, dude. So I go over to his house. This was the first time I ever went to his house. And uh, I go in his room. He pulls out a mason jar, and he, he untwists it immediately. I smell it. And I had never smelled this before, so it was very interesting. And... So we go to his backyard, and we sit on these uh, two boulders. So he pulls out a bong that was kind of next to this tree, kind of hidden. It was also winter, so he packed some snow around it. I was like, dude, you, you should take the first hit and show me how to do it. Because I had, I had never done it before, obviously. And so he sits there, he's taking the hit, and I'm looking at him. And I kind of figure it out. So he hands it to me, I light it, and then immediately I just start coughing out the ass. So he hands me some water to try and stop the coughing, but um, it eventually kind of induced a sort of panic attack. This is the first ever panic attack I've ever had. So it was a very scary situation because this is the first time that I had ever gone to this kid's house. I didn't know him at all, pretty much. So eventually I calm down and I start looking around and uh, I realize that I'm kind of like twisting my body a little bit, like twisting left to right in a sitting position. And I didn't even realize it until I looked down and I start laughing hysterically because of this because I, I had no clue that I was moving. So uh, Drew lays down and he starts to play some rap on his phone. So I lay down like a little bit away from him, like maybe 10 feet. And it's in like we're in the snow and we're all bundled up. So it was pretty comfortable. And then he's like, dude, do you feel like you're part of the ground right now? And I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of do. Like, I don't know if you guys kind of, like, get what I'm saying, but I felt like our, our eyes were kind of, like, part of the ground, I guess. That's the best way to describe it. And also my vision felt very widened. I feel like I could see everything around me better. So I'm sitting there, and I'm listening, and then all of a sudden I realize that there's, like, this howling wind around me. And I didn't realize till uh, a little bit later that it was actually just the highway. Because I, I live in the country, so I never hear that. Uh, eventually, he's like, dude, you want to like go inside to the swears off? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. But I, I was pretty scared to go in this guy's house. Because this is like the second time I've been in, inside of his house. Because we went in once to like grab his stuff. But So we go back in through the front door. And uh, I think his grandma was sitting there. And I just kind of said hi to her. And then she looked at me and said hi. So we go into his room. We start watching some YouTube. And then, uh, eventually we get extremely tired, like, to the point where we had to sleep. And we didn't want to go to sleep, because right now it was around 8 p.m. So, we decided to bike out of the house, because I brought my bike. So, we biked to the, um, a near high school, and we park our bikes near the bleachers, uh, next to this football field. At this point, it's dark out, and we see a flashlight in the distance coming towards us at a pretty quick pace. Um, so we didn't want to talk to anyone cause we were like, it had worn off by then, but we were just so groggy and out of it that we didn't want to have any socialization. So we start walking away and then we notice that the, the guy is like still behind us. And so we go to the other side of the field and he's still behind us. So at this point we get pretty freaked out and we get back on our bikes and really quickly pedal halfway back and <laughs> halfway there. He just stops, my friend Drew, and he just says, dude, we should just sleep in the woods. And I thought about it for a second. Like, I was like, no, nah. my first instinct was like, dude, what are you talking about? Let's just go home. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's just fucking sleep in the woods, dude. So we lay down in the woods. We put our bikes right next to us. And then we just fall asleep. And then we wake up around 11 p.m., I would say. So we slept for a good three hours. And that's pretty much where the story ends. We just kind of like went back to the house and slept some more. And then I went home the next day. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I should have some more life stories coming soon if you guys want it. So, peace.